Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. We got a really cool Link 2 monster revealed today. Apparently, it's a promo in the OCG, so same old story. We're not going to know where this is going to get imported, but I'm sure it'll either be in the TCG or like the OCG import section of a core set we get, or it'll be imported into something, you know, the Battles of Legend type set, something like that, into one of those randomly. Um, like a side set. Um, but very, very cool. Like, look at the artwork on this guy. He looks awesome. Um, so, yeah, this is Flame Tongue the Blazing Magical Blade. Love it. Love it. I really hope they keep the name Flame Tongue. That's, that's great. I don't know where... He, he has no tongue here, but whatever. All right. Uh, let's see. This is a link to Fire Warrior. So, low-key Fire Warrior support as well here. Um, 14 air attack, he points bottom left, bottom right, great arrows, no question, no, uh, no, uh, no hate there, those are great arrows. Two fire monsters, so he's also very generic, any two fire monsters gets you into him, that includes Almirage, so that he, the fact that just Almirage exists, period, really opens up the door for him to be accessible for a lot more decks that maybe otherwise wouldn't, and you can only use the second effect of this card once per turn. Face up spell and trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects. That's not bad. Just a little bonus protection effect. It's nothing crazy, but it is there. Depending on the deck, that could be nice. I'm thinking specifically Volcanics, who do leave your Blaze Accelerators face up. They also have the new trap that's continuous. You leave that face up. That's kind of nice. Also low-key like Salamangrates, protecting face up will that's like stays on the field as well as salamangrate sanctuary which getting that card removed is kind of annoying i know you kind of bay links to protect it but not needing to waste all your bay links on that is you know is nice so cool those are the two the first two things that i thought of when i saw this effect the second effect says you can target one of your banished fire monsters add it to your hand and if you do you cannot activate the effects of cards with that name for the rest of of this turn so um that one's uh you know the restriction is not great i don't love the restriction but it is still a straight up plus one right that's that's really what i come to here and and kind of like that first effect this card really makes me think about salads and volcanics more than anything else there's a couple of other nap uh, 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 applications i'm sure but those are the first two uh volcanics now automatically banish multiple monsters usually via their combo because they want to you send emperor to grave and then emperor banishes three pyros to summon himself back so you probably banish one of your main starters you probably banish a trooper banish a, sh uh, a rocket whichever one you probably started your play with boom just had that back you're just already guaranteeing yourself a, a follow-up normal summon that's pretty sweet um salamangrates so if you have to use spinny and it gets banished or something else i mean i guess spinny is the main thing that banishes itself that's the only thing is the deck doesn't inherently banish its own stuff all the time but it means you can more freely use spinny knowing that there could be lines where um i mean especially now with the link four that's the thing too is like i'm thinking about like with the link four going like sunlight wolf summoning blaze flame tongue under sunlight wolf to add a monster back uh, from grave to hand then this guy adds uh can target a like a spinny that's banished in grave add that back and then you go into the um the link four and search yourself a spell or trap or one of your spell or trap card or i guess is it just traps whatever he said i think he's solid traps um so like a ton of value i mean i know some of those cards you're not gonna be able to use again that turn but like two cards loaded back into hand with a with like a, a powerful interruption searched that i think is quite strong especially when we look at decks like marine cess that's kind of exactly what marine cess does super super efficient combo lines that leave you with a bunch of follow-up and enough interruption and sticky board presence that um it makes it hard to deal with the deck turn after turn after turn so very cool. Uh, the other thing I thought of was Infernoble Knight. They do some combos, I think, where they get um, their monsters banished. Because like, you use like uh, the Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. So that could get uh, Fire Warriors banished. And then you could easily go into this card at certain points throughout the rest of the combo. I guess it depends on what you're locked into. But if there is a nice sold line, you could literally make this to get a follow-up. And then also still make I sold with this. Or not I sold. Um, 
Appaloosa. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm thinking Appaloosa. Uh, but then make Appaloosa using this, and so you kind of got the follow up and still got to make Appaloosa, which could be kind of cool. Um, there's definitely something there too. I'm sure there are other fire decks I, I, that are like relevant enough to mention with this. I can't think of them right off the top. Oh, you know what? This is not a bad card for Rescue Ace either. They've got monsters that summon by banishing Rescue Ace monsters. This is not bad at all, honestly. Um, I'm sure there are other fire decks that like this could come up with. If you can think of anything off the top of your head, these were just the first couple that like sprung into my mind when I was thinking about it. But please let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other like relevant-ish fire decks that you think could make good use of this card that already banish stuff via their own individual plays. I also thought about like Ash Blossom. If there's a deck that like just via what it does already gets Ash Blossom banished, that makes this card way better because just adding Ash Blossom, you don't need it to be live this turn. It's almost like one of the better targets out there just because it would be live for your opponent's turn. That could be pretty cool. But yeah, um, really cool. It's, it's a nice card, honestly. I think about especially decks like Rescue Ace that have all that extra deck space that they already want to play Sunlight Wolf for what the recovery it gives you, but then also throw this guy into that pool of like just a card that gives you a free plus one. Why not? If you put enough bodies on the field. So... Very cool. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I like this card a lot. We should be getting the final Animation Chronicle card either tonight or tomorrow morning, I would guess. Um, excited to see what that is because these final reveals have actually been pretty fire, pun intended. Um, and I'll obviously bring you that as it comes. So I'm out here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the new link too. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all things Yu-Gi-Oh! news as we move forward. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.